Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you're having a blessed evening. Um, I come to you because of the fact that um, I saw something concerning, we're going to say an acquaintance. And long story short, it's like they throwing up Illuminati signs and, you know, all this stuff. And I'm like, God, God, they just don't know. So I want to read this scripture because it's real. People think that God has given the Bible. God has given instructions and everything for a reason. So let's go ahead and do this. Matthew 16, 26. I'm going to read both versions. The New King James Version says, For what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? So some of you act like you don't understand scripture. If God is not talking right then and there that you can sell your soul, then somebody lying because it's right there. But that's all right. We're going to read King James Bible version. For what is a man profited if he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Second, or what shall a man give it in exchange for his soul? Can I tell you something? And I'm going to give you a short testimony. I remember when I was young, um, we didn't grow up with a lot. You know, I remember mama going back to school and actually um, becoming an RN. But in that process, we were fairly, uh, I'm not going to say poor, but we didn't have a whole lot. You know, because we, we had food, we had clothing. So I'm not going to, when people say poor, I don't know what you're talking about. That's no food, no water. Go to them third world countries. But walk with me. But as a young girl... I just had a lot of zeal, but at the same token, I had promised myself, oh, I'm going to make it. I'm going and I've always been strong willed. So long story short, I used to tell people a long time ago when I was, I'm talking about I was young girl, I'm going to Hollywood. Well, I went, I was able to cater to Stevie Wonder. I was able to do a lot of powerful things in less than two, three months when I got down there. I mean, God had just opened doors, but also what God was it? Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. And, and I'm going to walk with this thing. I'm going to talk with this thing. I'm going to preach this thing. And pr hopefully I, I reach, if I just reach one. And I mean, things begin to happen quick and fast. And I wanted it. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be very transparent. I wanted it. You know, because when you grew up in between blessings, we're going to call it that way. You, you want that house. You want that car. You want that husband, that fine man, that fine woman things so you don't have to ask nobody so nobody don't have to clown you oh come on somebody walk with me on a journey how many of you growing up that people used to clown you because you didn't have this you didn't wear name brand things i'm gonna say some things that you have never known that i don't think i've ever told publicly i remember one time in high school i actually had and that's because mom was still in school but i think i had maybe one pair of pants and no one knew i would wear them but i would wear different shirts and so I always promised myself when I got older that I was going to do whatever it took. And truth be told, I did. I'm not going to lie. I did a lot of things. I heard a lot of people. I, hey, I just tell the truth. Some of you will never tell the truth, right? I guess on judgment day because God going to show, you know, he write down everything, every action, every reaction, everything. He said we will all give account. So I, I went on and got mine out the way. God already know. Yeah, I did it, God. Praise God, but help me, keep me, save me. I repent. Hallelujah. So let's fast forward. So even when I got older and I and I was dating like people, I, I was dating men that own banks. You you get what I'm saying? And my thing was money. Everybody could tell you that. My back in the day, I mean, that's what I was about. Point blank. End of story. And I tell you, it was through those six times that I almost died. That God changed my life. That I start seeing life, the value of life, the value of money. Y'all on y'all ain't ready for me. It's a greedy spirit attached to wanting this and wanting that. Because the Son of Man, I, I see why he didn't have a place to lay his head. He was trying to teach us something. He said, if you don't even have a place to lay your head, thank God for food, thank God for clothing, thank God for friends, thank God for grace, thank God for mercy. But the world got people thinking, no, you need it all. And most of the time, just to be honest with you, when I had those things, I would throw parties. And, and I thought I had so many friends. I realized those people didn't like me. They liked I was a great entertainer. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all better walk with me. And, and we liked that. Oh, you got it going on, girl. Your house is lit. I remember when I had my Mercedes, I brought it cash. I brought two car, two cars cash. And Infinity and Mercedes and the lady, she said, oh, you rich. And I remember gloating as if I was, you know. Oh, I remember all that. Walk with me. 
And I, I, I come to you today with a heavy heart because I see, you know, I didn't know that I had the gift like this. I didn't know that God had called me like this. I didn't know that he was going to use me like this. But I couldn't understand why I went the route I went. And, and then afterwards, when I almost died, how he brought me back and he said, okay, this is who I called you to be. And that's because I'm supposed to testify and warn. Just be mindful and be thankful if you have whatever you have. But everybody's going after, you want to be the best. You, you want to do this. You want to do that. And, and, and you're selling your soul, your body, your respect, your morals. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Walk with me. That we can't even we can't even get to the young kids. Remember, um, I think we read about it what maybe three or four days ago, how this young boy walked in his mother's and father's room, the ex pro football player, and shot him in cold blood and then flew to Cancun. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying? It's all about what you have and not who you have. It's all about what you can get and not what you oh come on, somebody supposed to be thankful of. Hallelujah. And y'all wonder why people from third world countries and all these other countries come here and they actually make it and they're consistent because guess what? They're thankful. Oh, I'm going somewhere. America has become Babylon. You're greedy. You're greedy, said the Lord. You're greedy, said the Lord. And it's going to cost us. Notice I said us. Because y'all tend to think that it only costs you. No, it costs everybody that you're connected to, especially if you are a Christian. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. People are selling their soul, their morals, they are lie, they are still, and, and I can't help it with my gift. I see, like, something happened very recently. Oh, I'm going to go there. Something happened today. Somebody thought they was being slick. And, and I keep looking at them, and I keep saying, you keep playing this game. As if I don't see you, you keep playing this game. Don't you know God got a backlash you? Oh, let's, let's go here. Don't you know God backlash all of us? No one gets away with anything. Why are you playing this game, sister? Why are you playing this game, brother? Y'all ain't ready for me. The only one you're fooling is you. Because one day, and trust me, that one day coming, to where you have to pay the piper, either on this side or the other side. Now, I don't know about you, but when I really sat down and, and thank God for saving me and thank God for, for discernment and wisdom, I, I counted the cost and I cried. You know, I understand about the prodigal son and the prodigal daughter. They came to themselves. When you come to your 